This poem is called When the Animals Leave, They Take Their Medicine With Them, which was a phrase that the late great philosopher John Moriarty used to say. And I was thinking, I was thinking about this interrelationship between human beings and the creaturely world and how that's as old as time and how we have absorbed wisdom from them and that is so much a part of kind of our language, our language and how we talk about the cunning of a fox or the wisdom of the owl, those things that are deeply in us. So I was just looking at that really and I think I was, I was asking for those in the poem, I'm asking for those wisdoms within us to awaken again. So even though I'm talking to the animals, I'm really talking to something in ourselves. When the animals leave, they take their medicine with them. And there's a note here. The last Irish wolf was eradicated in 1786. In 1950, Britain had 36 million hedgehogs. In 2013, one million. And Otter, putting down her rudder, ceased to steer. Heron abandoned slow grace. Owl forsook wisdom. Flocks of field birds refused to rise as one. Stag ceased to guard the herd. Fox extinguished her coat's red flame. Squirrel left off prudent reserve. In their pool, the speckled trout gave up camouflage. Moth stopped searching for the light. Badger released his jaw and let go the fragile earth. But then some mystery and Otter began again to steer. Heron resumed slow grace. Owl reclaimed foresight. Lark lifted her song above the moor. Again the bees passed on the steps of their dance. Again, Caterpillar entered the chrysalis and took on the arduous task of transformation. Again, Badger set a tenacious jaw.